Hey guys, it's me, Chance, back with another video. I'm just recording this because I want to show you guys a little project I've been working on. Um, so basically, I took my sand simulation game I showed you guys a week or so ago, and I took the level editor I made, the tutorial for that, I made that, and I just kind of combined them together, and I want to show you the end result of it. It didn't take that long, but so if we draw a black right here, just like black squares, whatever, and save it, then go into the Godot project, and then run it. It's going to load all of them as black squares, and of course they don't have physics because that type of object doesn't have a physics. But if we put sand or something in here, just, I don't know, plop sand in here, even though it's not like full. Boop, boop. Perfect. Save that. And now if we run this, it should have sand physics, which it does, which I like a lot because if I wanted to, I could do something like this. Just go to the erase tool, erase everything you don't want. I have this black edging so none of the stuff falls out, but then I can just make like perfect circles and stuff. And if I go back to black and I just change something around real quick. That's not what I wanted. Oh, it's because the pixels are too big. Sorry, guys. Um, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. But now if we run this again, it shows it again. I'm sorry for the time delay with the black screen. I don't know why it does that. I'll try to fix that. If you guys know how to fix it, just comment below. But yeah, I can do all that. It's pretty cool. I still haven't fixed the optimization problems for it though, but that could be always fixed later. So let's make a new, s just empty basically. And let's draw another circle. Two of them actually. Let's have one of them be filled with sand and the other one be filled with water. And now if we save this, it go into here. That's full of sand, um, except the sand will glitch through the corners very slightly. Not the problem with the water, it's just a slightly coding error I made, but I'm not going to fix it because I'm pretty lazy. Um, I can just fix that by increasing the, what's it called? Increasing the thickness of the pixels. Now it's a little thicker. Boink. And now if we put sand and water back in here, boop. Kaboop, and save it again. Now if we run this, I'll give it a second so you guys can see it. It now has sand and water, and if we delete this bottom block, it will let everything flow. I can still draw stuff out as well. It has that functionality from the sand simulation as well. Um, we're going to have to make another hole here, and probably here too. The water's fine. The water will, um, must keep going, question mark. No, it will not. But that's just a little project I've made, which I enjoy a lot. It's very nice. But yeah, that's all I have so far. It took me like an hour to combine them. All I did really, um, the sand simulation code just stayed the same. Um, only thing I had to change for the level editor code was um, spawning in the, um, spawning the tiles in themselves. Because before it would spawn in instances. But I had to hook it up so it worked with a tile map and stuff. But it wasn't that hard. So pretty nice, pretty simple. Uh, I have another video idea um, coming up soon. It's about Game Maker, which I hope you guys would enjoy that. But I've never used Game Maker before. And it costs like 40 bucks. So I'm going to see about that. And I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.